Hello everybody, this is the PC Security and today we will be taking a look at some recent virus attacks and we'll just be uh, taking a look at what exactly malware does when it hits your computer. I've got four samples here and we'll just try them out. I've not got any protection installed, I've disabled everything and this computer is just uh, waiting to be infected. So we'll just be, I'll just be showing you guys what exactly malware does and how exactly can you avoid it or how you can basically remove something manually in case it infects your system. So we'll just be looking at these samples and just seeing what exactly they do. So it's kind of something different that I decided to do today. Okay, I just opened up Komodo's kill switch. You can get it free at the Komodo website. It's a utility to basically monitor processes and it also scans them with their signatures and tells you if they're safe or not. So uh, we've just got kill switch opened up so we can see everything that's running right now. Well, let's just start with this Trojan banker. Okay, first we get stupid error saying that some uh, website was not found and then there you go this is the Trojan banker now Killswitch was able to get on top of it because it's set to stay on top but this is basically going to block any window that you're using and basically it's just a fake banker and it wants me to put in my credentials so that it can steal my information now if in case you get something like this that doesn't that gets stuck on your screen as you can see even if I try to close it it won't exactly let me do that so in case you get something like this don't be fooled to give away your stuff over here just try to get rid of it this is just a, a form of malware and it's called a Trojan banker so uh, don't be uh, don't give away anything to this one no legitimate banking website will ever design an application that behaves like a piece of malware so this is certainly in case you get anything like this that doesn't get off your screen and just get stuck you can close it then basically uh, you're pretty sure that it's a piece of malware so let's just take a look at what it's doing it's been uh, given a rating as unclassified malware by kill switch and these uh, things don't exactly infect your computer or your system. Uh, mostly what they do is to just get stuck on your screen and try to fool you into giving away your information. And so they're pretty easy to avoid. Now in case you want to get rid of this, all you have to do is just open up Task Manager or you can do it in Cold Switch itself. But I'm going to use Task Manager. Just go to try to find their process wherever it is and this one created this file automatically and I know this process name matches the name of this file so this is basically what's running so I'm just going to end it and there you go that's the end of that uh, piece of malware so it basically wasn't able to do much to the system but of course for simple users it can fool them into giving away their information and thus stealing their money or stuff so don't be fooled by anything like that so let's uh, try something else here. We've got a fake AV over here that has become a pretty popular form of malware right now. As you can see, immediately when I start it, it just makes a service of its own. It didn't ask me for any install, just silently installed in the background, and it's added a service, which means that it's basically going to start up with Microsoft Windows every time I boot in. So this is basically going to run in my computer all the time and uh, as it's a fake AV it might try to stop me from using other antivirus programs, might be spying on my activities. You never know what they do in the background but basically it's just a fake AV. By fake AV I mean something that pretends to be an antivirus or something of that sort when exactly it's a virus itself. So as you can see right now I'm not seeing anything 
you might think that oh, that was something it went away and my computer is fine now. But if you see carefully, you can see this piece of malware is running in memory and it might do something. Let's just try to open up Hitman Pro and see if it starts. Okay, so it did start. So this one didn't exactly block my antivirus. I can still run malware by its also IT. But you never know what these things are up to. So best thing right now, again, first thing that you want to do is just get this thing stuff out of memory. I'm not sure that it's completed, it's installed, but once it's done that, it's basically going to run every time I boot up. And so it's kind of a little more risky than this bankers because they get removed for sure. Now this one's probably created a lot of files that are going to run. So what you need to do is first you need to kill this search for something unfamiliar. As I can see, pretty clearly, here's a process that is not a process that I recognize. So I'm just going to end it. So that kills that fake AV. Of course, there are a lot more active fake AVs than that that really don't let you close them and stuff like that. But that's basically what a fake AV does. Now let's just try out this. You know, let's just try to run it as administrator. This is basically a rootkit, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. Or maybe it just uh, dropped something and gave me this uh, fake error message. Or it might just not be working, I don't know. Maybe it's just not working. Now, the next type of malware that I'm going to show you is a Trojan lock screen. I don't know if you've heard of it. Well, it basically just blocks down access to your computer. You can call it a zero access if you want, but it's not exactly a rootkit. It's basically just a Trojan banker kind of stuff that actually is going to block down my screen. Now, let's just see what happens when I run this file. Boom, there you go. Now, just as something strange, now this is the strangest thing to happen to anyone. There you go, I just ran that file and now my screen's covered with this message that's asking me for some credentials. And whatever I do, I just can't uh, get rid of this. And it's covering my entire screen so I can't open up Task Manager or try anything to get rid of this. Now again, most users would panic right now and start thinking about, you know, uh, reinstalling their operating system. They think it's uh, just over because once something like this pops up, there's no way of getting around it. First thing you should do without panicking is just restart your computer and see what, whether it's removed. But uh, you'll see right now this piece of malware is not going to go away that easily. Now see what happens when I just try to log into Windows. Okay, everything's fine till now. I might just think that maybe it's gone until Everything's just starting up fine. Doesn't look like a heavily infected computer. Not much of a slowdown. But once I boot in, there you go. I might just think that everything's fine. But just then, there you go. I'm pretty happy. And I'm just starting to open up maybe uh, Hitman Pro and try to get rid of this. But boom, there you go. So that basically starts up every time you log into Windows. There's no getting rid of it. And just before I could do anything at all, it's popped up again. And 
Well, I did basically can't do anything about it. And at this point, when most users would give up and say, well, it's starting up every time, we can't help it, we need to get rid of it. And the only way probably is to get rescue disk or get uh, your hard drive formatted. Now, basically, what I've seen, most of stuff like this, there's a much easier way to get around them. Just hit F8 while your system's booting. And then you go in safe mode. Now, safe mode is a location where you can exactly, most of your startup items just don't load. In fact, none of your startup items load. The only things that load are basically the essential Windows drivers. So in case it's a really bad rootkit or something like that, most pieces of malware don't exactly get around safe mode. So basically, in case you're infected, just the first thing that you should try is to go to safe mode and just try to remove it from there. Now let's just see if we can start up safe mode in this case. So I'll just think, I'll just pause and I'll be back when it's started up. Welcome back. As you can see, uh, safe mode is just starting. And let's just see if actually this malware is able to load in safe mode. That's just Windows help and support. OK, there you go. As you can see, the computer is fully loaded and the piece of malware failed to load in safe mode. As you can see, I've not got any strange process or anything running around. Even the fake AV that I've got installed is not running. So this is your best bet in case you're infected. Just try safe mode. From what I've seen, more than 80% of stuff like this just doesn't get around safe mode. So in case your computer is infected, instead of panicking and calling for experts, just try safe mode. All right, now you can see the files are still there, but of course nothing's loaded up. So basically I'm safe, at least in safe mode. So what I can do now, in case I haven't got any tools, I can download them. And in case I don't, can't even download them, let's just go to msconfig. And this is Microsoft's configuration and utility where you can just decide your startup items and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go in the nsconfig and see if I find something suspicious in startup. OK, there you go. Right now I can see straight away that I've got this fake AV that's going to start up. So in case you don't have any AV tools, don't just panic and think that nothing can be done about it unless you have some tools. Right now, I'm using nothing. I'm just using Microsoft's default tools to get rid of some of this stuff. As you can see pretty clearly, this is the fake AV that just got installed. It's not. And this is also something that I've never heard of. And most probably, this is the other uh, piece of malware that's just blocking my access. So what I need to do first, just disable everything in startup. Now, some of you users may not be able to recognize which file is exactly as malware and which is the default. So just disable everything, including your antivirus. Don't bother about it. Just disable everything, try to boot up, and if you're successful, then try to enable some of the stuff that you know. So right now, I'm just going to disable everything in startup. And in services, I'm going to hide all Microsoft services, and then you can just basically see what else is standing out. As you can see pretty clearly, we've got this fake AV service that's running. That's not exactly running because it's safe mode, but it would run in more normal mode. So what I need to do is disable the service also along with all these startup items. So basically what you need to do, hit this hide Microsoft services and then search for something. But basically what you need to do is just disable everything that's there other than Microsoft services. So now I'm going to disable all of the stuff, hit apply, and restart. So let's just see if I succeed in booting in this time. Welcome back. As you can see, my system just booted up successfully and I don't see anything running around. Of course, the files are still there, but if you look at my task manager, there's basically nothing in here. So basically, my memory is clean, and now I can run any antivirus tool to get rid of the files that they've created. So this is just a simple way to 
how to remove malware from your system. I mean, simple piece of malware, of course, in case you're heavily infected, this won't work. But in case you've got something like this running around, you just don't need to panic. As you saw, I didn't inst install anything at all. I didn't use any antivirus tools. I didn't buy anything. I didn't even download anything. All I did is I used the free Windows. Of course, you don't have this, the default Windows service to get rid of this malware from my system. Now, right now, these files may be there, but they're not booting in, and I can just safely use my computer. Of course, I'm still under threat unless I remove them, so I'd recommend using something like Malwarebytes after this so to get rid of the files. But you can at least get back to operational condition without using anything at all. So this is just a short description on how you should react to malware infections. Instead of just panicking, you should just try some things. And basically, that's all I want to show you guys. Also, how malware behaves. So just have some fun with these malware. And I'm just trying to show you what exactly you can do, what should be your immediate reaction when you get infected by something of this sort. Of course, for some files, it's different. They don't get removed this easily. But most infections I've seen are like this, and people just start panicking. So this time your computer's infected, just don't panic. Try some things first before doing that. And as you saw, we also had a look at how some pieces of malware behave. So this is just basically an overall security tutorial, and you can call it whatever you want. I just want to show you guys some things. Hope you enjoyed it. So have a nice day, and I'll talk to you guys later.